Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ask you a very simple but complex question. Do you know Gabon? You probably say yes, but let me tell you that it's not the case. Do you know the matrilineal and patrilineal ethnic groups? Do you know the matrilineal and patrilineal ethnic groups of all the tribes in the country? How do we settle disputes according to Bantu traditions? What does Dawe really mean originally? We found the answers to this question in a handbook entitled Le Gabon au bout des doigts pour un management interculturel efficace or Gabon at your fingertips for an effective intercultural management, written by Madeleine Rengila and Leila Ondem. To discuss this book, we welcome to the studio one of its authors, Madeleine Orlan Rengila. Hello, Miss Rengila. Good, good morning, Mr. Leimonger. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, you've been here before. We were discussing about other stuff. Now you're coming back as an author. But before we speak about this book, uh, who is Madeleine Rwengila? Can you introduce yourself, please, to our viewers? Oh, I love to say that I'm an African woman and um, that I love to touch everything, actually, according to as women are. And we know that we are pluridisciplinary creators, you know, so um, right now I'm, I'm an author, but you know yesterday I was in digital, I'm still in digital. I'm mm. a, I define myself as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur who think that women can do and be anything they want as, as, as long as they do it proudly. And even if I'm owner now of um, Rangus Digital and also a training center and a language laboratory, I'm still an entrepreneur. Okay, so you do, you have many, as we say in French, casquettes. Absolutely. So, where did the idea to write this book come from? A lot of people know me for my, um, let's say, business intelligence or business psychology. Mm -hmm. So a big entity came to me, I cannot say the name here, and they asked me to prepare some courses for, for foreign years that were coming to Gabon and okay. to make them understand really the roots of Gabon and the mindset here. So uh, Lila and me, we, we took some courses with uh, Dr. Maise, who is um, a lecturer at Omar Bongo Dimba University. Okay. So we trained ourselves for months before giving the course and the client was so satisfied that we, we wrote that, that book for that. Okay, so do you think that this book has social cultural value or is it just an informative manual? Uh, Mr. Lemongo, it's a tool, a very necessary tool actually that can be used for everybody, uh, embassies, you know, international companies, international employees, and because it immerses you in uh, Everything that's about Gabon, coming from starting for, uh, by the history of Gabon, you know, there mm -hmm. are some days that are not in our books in school, like maybe the, the 1471 when the Portuguese fell our coast, okay. or maybe the 1888 where Congo and Gabon were kind of the same country. Yeah. So it's it taking you from there to uh, the youth people language here that we call the Toli Magando, you know. Okay. Passing the, by the, the Toli Magando. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Passing by the, the, the matrilineal explanation, the belief and the writ of Gabon, you know. So we mix all that to take you to the management of intercultural people here, or you can understand them. Yeah. Okay, so what you mean is that uh, for instance a business person mm -hmm. coming to invest in the yes. country, if he has this tool you can better understand how people think, how people, the, where we're coming from. And it, yes, it's a matter of respect. When yeah. you come somewhere, I, I, I had the same experience when I went to Nigeria or maybe in Kenya or in South Africa, you know, and I was met in, into the picture because people were thinking that I was from their place, you, you see. So it's a matter of respect to know exactly where I go. Who doesn't want to know where he put his, his feet, you know? Yeah. So um, knowing people or starting to, trying to know about them is respecting them, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Practically, because uh, I know you, you will tell me that before later. But mm -hmm. this book comes with a, a training. There's a training yeah, going there's along a, with of that. Of course, of Can course. Can you tell us about this training? How uh, does it work? Um, actually, it it is minimum three hours training. Yeah. Uh, normally, I can also from some company do it in three days. Depend of you know where do you want to. Uh, take the information from, or what exactly you want your employees to know about Gabon. Okay. Uh, it comes exactly with a, if a course prepared for that. D'accord. But um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's necessary to have the course after the book. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I'm a tourist. Let's okay. imagine. I'm mm -hmm. a tourist mm -hmm. coming in Gabon. Okay. And I buy this, this, uh, this menu. Mm -hmm. How can I use it? Uh, it would be better maybe to have that book on our set, but how can, can I use it as a newcomer in the country? Um, it it helps tourists, embassies, 
companies, Every everybody actually. Okay. When you're doing so, I'll give you an example. You will know exactly where you want to go, you know. It can give you the descent from this place to maybe the waterfall, you know, or you can get it properly, maybe your, the address of your embassy also. And the superficial everywhere you go. If you are um, like any, someone that's coming to get married in Gabon, you need to know uh, that uh, you, you're not supposed to see your mother-in-law eating, to surprise her eating. You know, we call it like breaking her too, you know. Okay. And you find yourself paying um, a dispute settlement agreement, you know, and you can lose a lot of money on that. If you're a company, because many companies came in front of that problem, an employee can lose his father twice. Like he's going to say, okay, my father dies this month. And two years after, he lost again his father. And they were like, okay, how many fathers do you have? But they didn't know that the employee was from a matrilineal uh, uh, ethnic group. Mm -hmm. So the, his first father is his mother's brother. Okay. So it's something everybody needs to know and understand before coming to Gabon. Maybe if, even if they're already here, you know, to understand how we work, how we think, the mindset, the mindset locally. Okay. Yeah. But now I'm thinking about marriage. I'm thinking like maybe somebody that wants to marry a young Gabonese okay. woman, he has to go through the diary. Absolutely. He has to come here and give what we, the family will ask for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Do you give some tips to this kind of people also? Of course. Also? Everything is in the book. So for every tribe, because we have about 42 tribes in Gabon. Absolutely, but you, we have many, that's true. But um, the, actually the culture is similar from PAL, you know, like the, let's say the West and uh, the East um, yeah. and the South is a little bit the same thing. Yeah. The North has its own culture and the East also. So yeah, yeah okay. we find so everything you, in the book. You, you took the main groups Absolutely. of the country. Absolutely, exactly. Okay, so in this book we learn how to use counter witchcraft. I was surprised when I saw that. Can you tell us something about yes, it? Yes, there is a, a chapter about belief and rights also, but I cannot yeah. give more information about that, you know. <laughs> you okay. find it in because the Because in Gabon we know that witchcraft is something that we live, we go through that. Okay, so somebody coming will we'll have to understand that also. But do you think that a foreigner really need that? Yes, as I said before, it's a matter of respect, you know, to know exactly when, what we say we, here in Africa is like when you find a village where everybody is working with one leg, you do the same. It's normal uh, and it's a matter of respect to know the root of people you have in front of you to understand why they think like that and why they do things that way, yes. Okay, we, you told me about the Toli Bangando. Yes. We know that some popular songs yes. even uh, spoke about it. But I want to know, I want to know what about locals? Can they use the same book for their own knowledge? Absolutely. You know, before being uh, receiving calls from Dr. Maise, I, I didn't know many things about my own country, you know, and when I was traveling, uh, and like in Nigeria, for example, people are talking about the culture. I could talk about Gabon, but not deeply as today. So I think it's normal and important for local, maybe from even the primary school, you know, to have those kind of information and the secondary school, maybe the university. Um, I didn't know about the 1888, like Gabon and Congo were the, kind of the same country. Yeah. I didn't know about it, you know, so for locals, it's important to know that when you go somewhere and you want to sell your country, you know, yes. And now I'm thinking about, the, you know, the government. Do you have some connection with the government? Like, okay, this is what I have produced. Maybe it can be useful for Minister of Education, for instance, something like that? I'm working already with the High Educational Ministry okay. um, because my language lab laboratory and my training center are certified, you know, by this okay. ministry. And uh, we don't know anybody in the government. Everybody knows, you know. And um, I think that's why you, like the media, are helping us, you know, to mm -hmm. have the visibility so someone can come and say, okay, you don't want, we need it in school, or maybe we need it for the embassy. Okay. Yes. That's good. So now that this book is available, the job is done, yes. it is out there, what are your perspectives as an entrepreneur? Uh, for the book, for the book first, for the book yeah. first uh, is to make sure that people get familiar with that and they call us, of course, for the for the course that's coming with that and for the quiz and the document that can we, we can add that we can add with that. And for the entrepreneur, I will still be myself, you know, touch everything like I'm doing right now. I'm a consultant from some ministry, and also make sure that I'm always doing something for women. Okay, I want you to speak maybe about the fact that you are a woman entrepreneur. We know that President Ali Bongo and mm -hmm. uh he said that like the decade is the decade of the woman. Mm -hmm. And now you are this woman doing things, mm -hmm. writing books, having a business and stuff. Uh, do you think that you are in the full vision mm -hmm. of that decade of the woman in Gabon, in the world? Can you say something about it? I am. I, I am, you know, and I, I'm so proud to be in Gabon because we so advanced in that, that department, you know, uh, mm -hmm. talking about the gender equality. Yeah. And um, it's it, an honor for me, actually, I'm in charge of some uh, measure of Gabon Egalité. 
you know, mm -hmm. going to that, you know, that direction. And we so advanced that, you know, I told you last time I feel equal to a man, yeah. you know, but I know my part as a woman, you know, and as a mother also. And yes, they're they are doing a lot for us, a lot. Okay. So please have a closing word. Um, I invite everybody to buy the book and they can call the, um, the commercial. It's going to be the number 077. Uh, 010046. I'm going to say it again quickly. 077 010046. Okay, so that's amazing. Thank you for coming, Miss Wangila. Hope to have you here again, maybe for another project that you will have. You never know. Exactly. Thank you, Miss Elena. See you soon. Thank you. Okay, that's all for today. You've just walked to guests. Madeleine Orlan Wangila was our guest. Her book is available online. Just search for what's the name of the book? Can you remind it, please? Le Gabon au bout des doigts, en français, en anglais, Gabon at your fingertips. Okay, so thank you, goodbye, see you soon.